Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, explain how you can switch back from a frame in Selenium automation. Let me answer this question. At the same time, let me practically demonstrate this for you with an example. So if you want to switch back from a frame, then either you have to use parent frame command to switch to the parent frame. For example, there are nested frames. Parent frame is there in the child frame. Page is there in that page. Some frame is there in that frame. One more inner frame is there like that, okay? In that case, from the inner frame, if you want to get back to the uh, top level frame or its parent frame, okay? That is called a switching back from a frame only, right? So we have to use parent frame command. Or if you want to switch back from either the inner frame or the top level frame to the page level, back to the page level, then you have to use default content, okay? So let me explain this uh, in a diagrammatic fashion. For example, there is a page. In the page, there is one frame. In this frame, there is uh, one more frame. In this frame, there is one more frame. Like this, some frames are there, okay? This is a page. This is a page I'm talking about. This is uh, some frame one. This is frame two. In that, one more frame, okay? These are like nested frames, right? So. Now, let's say using Selenium automation from this, by default, when you start Selenium automation, your focus will be there on the page. But if you want to do any operations on the elements on this particular F1 frame, you have to switch to this frame. Then only the elements will be visible to Selenium, okay? Now, now the elements are there in this inner frame of this F1, child frame of this F1. In that case, first you have to switch to this F1 frame. And from that frame, you have to switch to the F2 child frame. Now, if the elements are there is there in this inner frame of this F2, child frame of this F2, then from this F2 frame, you have to switch to the one more inner frame F3, okay? So if you have to go to the F3, you have to start from page to F1, uh, top level frame and uh, its child frame from it, from there to the inner child frame. This is the path you generally follow, okay? Going forward. But here the question is all about coming back, switching back, okay? Coming back. Here you are going forward, but you have to how to come back. You're getting in, but how to come back? To come back, there are two ways. You see, if you are if you are in this frame, in a complete inner frame, and you can go back, switch back, go back to its parent frame, okay? From F3 to F2, you can go. That is possible with the help of parent frame command, okay? Now from this, again, you can go back to, from F2 to again, F1, you can go again. That is also possible with the help of parent frame command. But now, from this, top level frame, top level parent frame, if you want to come to this page level, we want to get the focus of Selenium to the page level, but page is not a frame, right? So here you cannot use switch to dot parent frame. You cannot use in this case because that is a page that you are switching to. So you have to use default content in this case. Okay. So here you have to use default content from frame to the page level, default content, not only from here to here, for example, from this frame directly to the page also, you can use default content. Okay, from the top level frame to page also default content. From this inner frame, one of the inner frame to the page level also default content. If you want to switch back directly from the low level inner frame to the page level directly, here also default content we have to use. Okay, let me practically demonstrate this with this for you with an example. Uh, here we have an example, guys, example URL. Uh, this is not the one. Let me uh, change the example URL here. So this is the example URL, guys. Uh, let code dot in frame. Let's see whether that page is working or not. Let me take you there. Let's see. Yeah, it is working. It's loading, guys. You see, in this, uh, this is a page level. This heading is all available on the page. For example, this frame heading is available on the page. Okay, and here entered here. Let's see how the things are there. Inspect this, and uh, you can clearly see. Uh, inspect this. Uh, Thing like email kind of thing let's see this email thing is inside a frame here i frame here and this frame is inside another i frame you see this frame this in this frame is inside this frame okay somewhere okay so there are multiple layers of frame okay i frame under that one more i frame is there okay maybe this one this one uh, we have to see, okay, this frame, uh, for that we can use selectors have add-on also. We have not installed selectors have add-on. 
is very easy to install guys that will make our job easy just go to selectors hub.com in understanding these frames it will be very difficult from the html code in case of nested frames so go here go to selectors hub.com and selectors hub expand and selectors plugin click on install and once you do that you will be taken to another page where you need to select the browser so let's get in here it's a page is uh, loading slow somehow once you are taken to this page different browsers will be there then chrome install option is there click on install and uh, it will get installed you can simply pin it out just pin it you can see it here okay selectors hub add on will be installed like this that will make our job easy guys in case of nested frame so since i already have installed so you don't have to um, i don't have to do anything so the thing here is uh, after installing the selectors hub extension and all then simply you know uh, simply you restart your browser once okay before doing anything so do one thing just uh, inspect any element uh, here and uh, go to the selectors hub here and uh, you can clearly see that this email is inside the frame selectors hub is clearly saying that it is inside the frame okay so which frame we don't know right which frame we don't know the frame x path okay class has black background white some frame is there uh, where is this uh i think this is inside an iframe. frame i think that's not the one yeah this one under this frame this inside this frame this iframe this email address field is there and when you select this iframe again it is saying that this iframe is also inside another iframe okay what is that that frame has id is equal to first fr Scroll up. This is the frame ID first of part. Okay. Inside this frame, inside this frame, one more frame is there. In that frame, email is there. Okay. Like that. And whatever that is uh, outside this box is a page. Simple. Okay. Now you got the idea, right? And uh, so what we are going to do here is I'll take this, uh, I'll practically demo. I'll switch to this Eclipse ID where we have the sample Selenium automation code for opening the Chrome browser, maximizing the browser. And here we need to open the application URL. I'll copy this URL, update code, frame, paste it here. Once that is done, now I will be at the page level. First, I'll print the page heading. What is the page heading? Frame is a page heading, okay? I would like to print that. Let me inspect this. For this, I don't have to switch to any frame because this uh, heading is on the page level. Inspect this. And it's nothing but H1 tag is there. Let's see. Is there anything H1? Yeah, H1 is the thing. Double slash H1. If I say, I'll get it. Driver dot find element. Driver dot find element by dot uh, X path uh, or by dot tag name. You can also do that. Uh, double slash H1. Double forward slash H1 dot. Uh, this one is uh, get H text. The semicolon. Let's see. Uh, this uh, text between the tag is frame, right? That will come. So here I have to say get text, lowercase letters actually. Done. This will get you the page heading, string page heading at the page level you are. Okay. And this I'll print it out system.out.println page heading. Okay. Now from here, I'll switch to this frame where I have to fill up the first name and last name. I need to fill up this first name and last name. So I have to get into this frame. Okay. This is one frame actually. So how to get into that frame, right click inspect here. And uh, if I remember that has an ID, that frame has an ID, go to selector serve. You see this, uh, this frame has an ID. Okay. This frame I have to switch to so that in that frame, we have this first name and last name. So copy this ID. First, I have to switch to the frame with the help of its ID. Driver dot final, uh, driver dot switch to dot frame of dot frame of give that ID of the frame once you switch to that frame now you can enter the first name field and last name field details okay first name here input f name name locator is there copy this uh, and here i'll write down driver dot find element by dot uh, name locator i'll enter the name uh, dot set keys i'll say and i'll give my first name as arun 
think it's done. Similarly, I can enter my last name here, like this Arun, I'll enter and last name, inspect this. This also has a name, L name is a value and write down driver dot and element. We are inside of one parent frame, okay? And uh, last name dot, any keys. And here I'll say Motori, my last name I'll give. The semicolon here. From this, now I want to enter the email, but this email is inside its child frame. There is one more frame here. Under that frame only, this email is there, okay? You can see here, inside frame. What is a frame where this email is available? Let's say ins inspect and it will give the frame details. It has a class thing. Just scroll up. Somewhere frame is there. It has a class. It has background white. Okay. This is a frame having the class. So I have to create a web element for this frame and switch to this frame. So what I will do here is I will just create a web element for the frame. Driver dot find element uh, by dot uh, class name give the class name value and this is nothing but the child frame child frame element or child frame whatever you want to write for the mouse and say create local variable and now if i want to switch to the child frame driver dot switch to dot frame of give that web element that is child frame element here that's it put a semicolon here done you have switched to the child frame now enter the email address enter the email address how to enter the email address. Now, once you switch to the child frame, you can enter the email address. It has a name, email, copy this. And simply I'll write down driver dot find element by dot name, give the name locator and uh, dot send keys. I'll give my email address, uh, arun dot motori at the rate gmail.com. Okay, here's the email address I'll enter. I'll just give some thread dot sleep. Why I'm doing this is uh, after three seconds, I would like to clear this particular email. Whatever the email I entered into this, I want to clear. Okay. Dot clear, I'll say. I'm in the same frame, child frame. I want to clearing it. Okay. Now, before moving out from this uh, inner frame to the outer frame, I have whatever the email address I entered here, I'm clearing it out. Now, similarly, I want to clear the not only the email, but also this first name, last name, which are in the parent frame. For that, first I have to driver dot switch to dot to switch back to the parent frame. I have to use parent frame. Okay, this is the one of the way to switch back to the parent level where now you have the control on the first name, last name, and uh, the first name is already there here. I'll copy the, all these two things and in place of this any case, I'll say dot clear, dot clear, and here also dot clear. Put a semicolon, put a semicolon, and here great dot sleep. And here, give a gap. Okay, clear. That's it. Both clear. When both are clear, I'm just giving some, uh, you know, sleep time so that you can see like in which frame you are moving back and all. Now I want to get back to the parent page level. For that, driver dot switch to dot default content. I have to say now once I move to the default content, I can get the page heading. How to get the page heading? So here somewhere I have written the code, right? Uh, this is a code, copy this, paste it here. And the page heading two, page heading two. That's it. So before doing that, I just, uh, you know, give some thread dot sleep. And finally I'll say driver dot switch. Okay. So we can see that what's happening. Are we switching into the frame and switching back outside of the frame back, backwards and all. I'm just doing it here. Okay. Right click, run as Java application. Let's yeah, first page heading will be printed, the output console, then we'll switch to the you see after uh, after in, after we are in the child frame, uh, I mean parent frame, after three seconds, we have to move to the child frame. Nothing is happening though. Is there an exception? Yes. Uh, I think this is not working. This is not working. So one minute, uh, there may be some locator mistake. I would dot switch to child frame. Okay. So let's see how to switch to the child frame now. 
it's like this. And, uh, sorry, not here. Here. Like this. Select a sub. You can clearly see it's inside a frame and with a class. I think I'll use the same thing. Copy this frame X path. This is a frame. This is a frame, right? Is that inside any other frame then? Directly, this is inside this frame. It is same. Frame X path is this one. So copy this. And here I'll write down to switch to the child frame. I'll say by dot x path. I'll say by dot x path instead of that by dot x path. I'll say uh, let's see whether we can switch to the child frame with the help of this x path. Let me run it again. Rightly run as the obligation. Yeah, it's working now. You see, it has entered the email. After three seconds, it will clear the email. And it will, after three seconds, it will go to the parent frame and clear. Then it will, uh, you know, and after the, uh, three seconds has done. You see, the page level headings are also printed in the beginning and at the end. So this is how we can traverse uh, in and traverse out, okay, with the help of frames. For switching back, we have to either use parent frame command or default content. Sometimes, if you want to directly go, you don't want to go to the parent frame directly. You want to go to the page level directly. That is also possible. Okay. It's, uh, you know, it's not compulsory, compulsory that from the uh, child frame, you have to go back to the parent frame. That's not compulsory. If you don't write this here and you don't want to go to the parent frame and directly want to go to the page level. Okay. This is also possible. Okay. Directly you are jumping from the uh, nested inner child frame back to the page with the help of default content. Okay. So not only from the parent frame to the page, from inner frame to the page also you can jump. Okay. You can switch back. To prove that I have removed the, some code. It will first enter the name, last name. It will, uh, you see what's happening. It will clear the email. It will not clear the first name, last name. You see, that's the thing. You see, it, it was able to switch from the inner child frame to the directly to the page level with the help of default content. So hope guys, you got the answer for this question uh, with practical demonstration in this session. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.